Hello YouTube, and it is Herpsterp here, and we're back with another Spival episode here on Uranus. And as you might know, there are some uh, interesting things on Uranus, and this is a vault where there's You're actually the going to be Check an entirely underwater experience that we have here. There's only going to be a little bit of stuff out of the water at the very end. Now, I just I just found out that there's multiple ways to perform this fall. I used to think there was only one way to do it, so let's go ahead and see if we can find the other ways to do this. Any rate. So, as you can see, we have this big long tube here, and if you look down the end of this tube, um, there's the, the data console at the other end of it. So, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta go hop down the water, because that's the only way to get into this. Now, you can go left or you can go right. I personally think it's easier if you just go to the right. And, now the, if you're really experienced with this fault, you can try to actually, you can try to actually juke all these fans without trying, without just trying to uh, shoot out these control panels to edge and deactivate them. But, I think that, especially if this is, if this is your first time playing on the Uranus battle, no, 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 oh, 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 that was close. As you can see, I'm a little willing to take a few more chances here to deactivate these panels. But at any rate, if you're on Uranus for the first time, I'd recommend you do this the slow, steady way. So as you can see, there are two types of two types of uh, ways to deactivate these fans. Now you can shoot out the four little panels next to the edges of them if they have those four little panels, or if they don't have those four little panels, then they will have one of these little things set to the side with a little control box that you can whack at. Now, why are these dangerous? Well, they're dangerous because of fans like this one right here, where it's sucking you towards it, but there's actually a laser grating that will set up alarms and hit it. So, oh come on, the angles, the angles can be kind of difficult, because as you know, um, arc wing things sometimes have some strange, some strange aspects without trying to aim. Okay, so we've come around, uh, we've come around a little U shape around the, the left edge, if you can kind of see it there, we start it off, start off on the little prong. Ah, I want to try to describe the map. You can see it for yourselves where we're at. Okay, so now we're still headed forward. We're now getting past the basic tube, but now here's where we can make a choice. Now, I have always gone over here to this left path and just shot up more fans, but apparently there's another way to get through this way. So I'm going to go... Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to show you guys the way I always do it, because I think this way is safe and easy, and it's definitely easy enough to just shoot out all the way up all these little things, or if you've done this vault a lot of times, I, I'm going to go ahead and shoot them out today, but if you've done this vault a lot of times, you can usually get away with it. just trying to, just trying to swim through things very, very rapidly. In fact, now this one, this, see here's where it's another one that's dangerous, and we need to get to that little pad that goes up there. But, if we were to swim through this and get sucked into the slipstream, get sucked under, there, we get sucked straight into. There we go. We get sucked straight into one of these laser gratings. And it's getting sucked into one of these laser gratings is not what we want to do. So, we'll do it that way. Okay. So, there's that. Swim straight up out of there. And now, we can hack this door here. Said we can hack this door. Oh my gosh, I'm so good at hacking. <gasps> Alright, hack this door here, and here we are at the console. Now, is this the only way to do this? Well, no, it is not. As you can see, there's also this little place you can drop down right there. And so, what I'm gonna do for you guys, you know, I haven't really ever gone through this. I haven't really used this way too often. But I'll go ahead and. I'll go ahead and try it out just for the fun of it. I think there's a lot of lasers to do, but it'll be fine. So I'm going to backtrack, and we're going to go down and see if we can get back. While the, while the alarms and traps are still active, we're going to go down and see if we can get back into the vault from this little um, conflux of turbines. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I shut some of them off. Oops. Oh, yeah, that's right, because you... Oh, okay. The, the, you can shut off the turbines using this little thingy here the same way you can shut. Using okay, let me sh let me show you what I'm talking about because I'm not. I've never I've never actually tried to go both ways before. So what I'm talking about is this little place right here. No, this little place right there. 
Uh, waypoint sometimes. Why I knocked out that particular grating. So what we're going to do, what we actually do is we come behind this fan. And uh, that that fan has actually been deactivated, which makes this little uh, this little messy turbine area significantly less dangerous. But we still have some danger up above us. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Okay. All right. So more things to shoot at. We'll do this though. There we go. There's that. And if we go straight up here, we are now in the actual tube that you can see from the entrance. See? There's these big there's those big long data chains going from there to the console that we had to get in this place get in here in the first place. And as you can see there's this uh, <laughs> there's these lasers that are moving back and forth, so let's, uh, let's do what we usually do, and wait for them to get, oh no, that's not how we want to do that, oh, uh, where do we get, okay, I, I always forget exactly where you can hop out when you go this way, I presume it's over on this side, because this is the direction we want to end up going, yeah, it'll be up here, no, no, nope. over here, aha, like I said, I haven't gone this way too often. Oh. Come on. There we go. Okay. So now we're inside here. And we're going to have to do a little bit parkour to get back over there. So let's see if my, park, if my aim gliding skills are up to the challenge. Oh yeah, they are. Oh, maybe... Yes! Okay. And there you have it. We've now gotten into the vault two different ways, and we are ready to hack. So, let's see if I can uh, fail at hacking again. Oh, come on. There it goes. <laughs> Alright, and once you finish with this vault, there's a little door that opens up here that you can just walk straight back out using. So that that's the uh, that's the underwater vault. The completely underwater vault for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's going to be all for the second vault on Uranus. So, peace out, YouTube. Herp to derp, out.